Hi, my name is Marjorie Delaney and welcome to, I'm owner and operator of Magical Things and welcome to my YouTube channel. I thank you very kindly for joining me today for this tutorial on cardboard box planters. That's right, cardboard box planters. Watch the video to find out what happens today. Hi, my name is Marjorie Delaney. I'm owner and operator of Magical Things and I'm the orator of this YouTube channel and I decided that I would try to make two videos a week um, in two categories. One in art and one in like home. Like they would be have to do with food, either growing food or uh, and I haven't really grown food myself that much so this is an adventure we're going into together. I have gardened in the past and I know a little bit about gardening, but I'm not a master gardener or anything like that. I don't like to spat out credentials. This is just a YouTube video of me making um, planters out of boxes we've all been getting lately. So um, it's just a biodegradable way to start my little vegetable garden and have a raised bed without it... Um, costing me a bunch of money um so if you are interested in these kinds of things i know my company is called magical things but i do think um you know the science of growing things is kind of magical it's like almost overnight the seeds start popping up and life comes forth so i consider that very magical i also try to do these things according to phases of the moon um you know, if you plant during the waxing moon, you're more likely to see results of, of uh, your seeds popping up. So that's just a little tip there. So we're going to take these outside. I can't uh, operate the camera and um, uh, whatever. You know this. I'm doing this all for my Samsung. So, and it's got a crack screen as well. So I'm no videographer, but here we go. We're going to take these boxes and we're going to turn them into planters. So we're coming at you from the Enchanted Cottage, and I'm sure we've, you know, we've showed you the grounds before. This is, I've done a video earlier on, like, dehydrated soil. It starts out, um, in those blocks, and I just, this time, I got smart. I got a big, um, bin that was broken that I couldn't use anyway, but was fairly waterproof. Had no cracks in it, and I just filled it with water and threw three of those tiny things in there. So we have an awful lot of soil and it's still like, I think it's fairly dry. I did this uh, yesterday. So yeah, it's, 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 it's still fairly dry and there's like, I can feel like the block still in there and I had broken things apart. I did a video another time where I was using a method where I was pouring it over top of the, um, uh, soil inside a tire and that was not working out and you know it was a very long process and I used way too much water so I, I didn't have a wheelbarrow so I just I made do with what I have right now I'm not able to go out and get a bunch of supplies I don't feel like standing in long lines uh, exposing myself so I just I want to just use what I have and what I have for planters is going to be these um, uh, boxes <laughs> and so I'll just I'll go I'll get right into it so let me, let me switch it around so I'll be able to see okay so here we are it's my little gardening section it feels so good today it's, I can't even tell you, it's like not even, it's not hot, it's not cold, I'm not chilled, I'm not sweating, oh my god. So, I'm going to take, you want to make sure that it's a box that you're taken care of, okay? And I happen to have, I'm going to use, unfortunately these are all scratched up. 
these plastic things. These are the boxes that I have for these light up um, trees all through my yard and they're not really for any particular occasion to me anyway. I think they're good for um, all this waste out of there. So at least I'm saving this. This is a fairly small box. And so with the other things that I showed how to do, God, this is a terrible angle, but you know what? I'm trying to show the work, not the, um, good Lord. Okay, so, let's just bear with me. Let me get a, a pull of the tape. That might be better. I really hate sitting down, but it might be better. Okay. So, anyway, um, the other videos that I did had, um, I did a tire. And I'm not sure whether I did a, a video on the raised bed that I did, but I lined it with um, cardboard. And in doing that, that does provide some drainage because it's layering. And so it has a porosity in it and the roots of plants can um, get through there as they grow, especially if it's seeds. Now I had um, a tomato plant that I had planted in one of my raised beds that I'll show you later. And I just sort of left it in its container, but cut the bottom out. And I think I did show that. I could have sworn it. But, and I cut the bottom out and then put it in the middle so that the roots would be exposed to the bare ground. And then surrounded that, the plastic inlay, surrounded that with, um, you know, cardboard and dirt built up over it. So it would give it like, you know, a raised bed. So with this, there's not, if I just put it on the ground, put dirt in it, there's not going to be any, any drainage to the, um, the ground underneath. And ultimately I would like the roots to be able to penetrate the ground. And then, as I said, the reason why I'm using cardboards is it's fairly durable. If you want to know the truth of the matter, see that box over there well it's been out here for weeks and it's gotten rained on several times and it's still holding up so i don't care if and i don't care if they if they hold the whole season you know eventually those plants are going to grip in but this gives me a nice size raised bed so you want to poke holes in it i'm just using like anything pointy nothing technical here <laughs> special tools. Now the bigger the box, you know, the bigger the box. But I'm doing it. <coughs> Lots of little mini beds. <coughs> I have allergies. It's not Corona. Oh. Lots of pollen out there. That was so fast to do. Like almost no time. I'm very excited because some of the seeds that I've already planted are they're coming up. I think the tire tutorial that I... <coughs> I'm going to have to get a drink or something. My throat is dry. <laughs> oh my, you don't want to be coughing in a video these days. <laughs> so, um... Beautiful property, a lot of pollen probably. That's my hope. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> I do wish that I was able to go back to Ghost Willow Manor because I used to have a storage building there that has a lot of my garden items and a lot of my shop items. <laughs> but right now I can't get those things. So I'm, I'm making do with what I have, and I'm also making do with, like, um, really trying not to need to go for services anywhere. You know, I don't want to stand in a long line to get a raised bed planter. I looked at these shapes, and I'm like, I love these boxes, but, you know, you kind of, you 
there's a fine line between being like um, inspired by supplies you have in your vicinity and being hoarder. So my rule is like if I have not done that idea that thing that was a piece of junk has to go. Um, luckily I did the tire planter video so that thing can stay. That's kind of how it works. Great, my dog is taking a crap right by the fire pit. That's not cool. I won't judge you, man. But boy, I wish you would I'm glad the video camera's not on you. I, I don't think this is very entertaining to watch it so cold and hot. What I thought would be cool on this too, like, you don't have to use car, I'm going to do a whole series of like, I have others, if I don't have enough planters, I'll get the other ones inside, but I have more of these, why not have these as like, you put lights inside of them, and you have just like this whole cool, magical world in a box, would that be cool? could hang things from here. Have like a with the light shining through, maybe a a scene painted on there. I don't know. I think that would be cool. Anyway, it's got inspired. It's got inspired, don't judge me. Anyway, we get the other box. Some battery operated lights. Oh, I don't think I won't do this. <sighs> Trash. Nobody used the instructions. They should print instructions on the inside of the box that we know when everybody loses them. You're welcome, industry. <laughs> I wish I was in a think tank. I would love to get paid to be in a think tank. I'd still probably just make one of them wage though. Oh. Oops. I guess I could like, I could put magic sigils in here. Actually, let's just put some good intentions in these arts for, you can do art for art's sake too. Not everything has to be fancy. <laughs> I really like doing this. I think I like doing it too much. Oh my god, when I, this, this flashback when I was a kid. It was a little destructive. <laughs> and my parents had bought this brand new dining room furniture. Yeah, my mom was a procrastinator, so I, I definitely know that's where I get it from. So we had these boxes like forever sitting in the dining room. I had a pen one day and I thought it was the most spectacular thing and to just take that pen through those boxes and when it was like this I didn't know what was behind the box see had anyone like been watching me and said, hey, who the fuck is doing this to this box? Like, you'd notice the holes in it a normal parent would. Not these people. <laughs> Let's just say I saved my house from having to have these Harvest Gold vinyl. Um, they were puffy dining room chairs. Kind of some kind of modern design. Some disaster. Yeah. You can, thank, you can thank me for that. The house is already painted harvest gold, by the way. 
every fucking thing in the house was harvest gold, which is why I went on the, the attention deficit order. And I hate the color yellow to this day. <laughs> A little, little traumatic bonding there for you. It's very destructive. God. Another thing this reminds me of. And it like, just like, I guess it was some moment that played to my ego. Like you would not believe. I, um, when I was a kid, you know how, like, there's always that one kid in your class and they can draw and then you think they're the only artist that there's allowed to be. Or there's one kid that can sing and there's one kid that can dance and there's one kid that can do whatever. And there's one smart kid and then there's one pretty girl. You know what I mean? Like, it's the S thing. So, like, Tommy Zidane... If you're out there and you're not doing art, I don't know why. But he could replicate um, anything. Like if he had a picture of it, he could draw exactly what it was. And he was in my reading group. This is a very high reading group. Um, <laughs> and so I always, like, I thought, like, I wasn't an artist. So I'm not the best artist in the world, but I'm still an artist. So there you go. And so, but I was always good with my hands. I was good at making things, especially like impromptu. My mom liked the jury rig stuff. But I was at this vacation Bible school, and I freaking loved vacation Bible school. And we were making this craft. See, that's how they got me in. They got me in with this cool dude wearing sandals and a craft every day and I fucking love making stuff hold on I don't want to give any a free endorsement to anybody I also don't want to be judged for what I'm drinking anyway so um and I'm not day drinking which actually would be kind of fun to do but I don't want to like start promoting alcohol in here alcoholism so I can get through this whole project without drinking. <laughs> Yay me! I really don't drink that much anyway. And it's Ramadan and I'm kind of celebrating that too. I'm a very complicated person. I like everything. That's ADD. I am spiritually ADD. Anyway, so this motion is what's triggering those memories. So I was in... Um, vacation Bible School and their project that they had I had to go to I had to go somewhere so I missed the beginning of it but I but I came back and so we had frozen taken cans and put water in them I had to do this with the dog food cans and I could do all kinds of really cool Vacation Bible School, you just gave me an idea. How about we have one of those, one of those videos here? We're gonna do it. Because I have so many cute dogs. I, I just, like, they can become candle holders. Anyway, so you take, here, so listen. From this craft, we talk about another. So the craft was, you take a can. You might be eating a lot of canned food lately, I don't know. But if you have dogs and you give them canned food, so you fill it with water, and then you take a nail and a hammer, and you punch out a pattern, and then the ice melts, empty it out, and then you put a candle in it, and it shows a sign through. Well, <clears throat> they had like the adults holding the cans, and <laughs> you wouldn't do this now in a daycare. <laughs> I was like nine. They wouldn't let you do this stuff now, which is what's wrong with everything. So this is a very trusting teacher. So everybody else is mayhem with volleyball. And I I don't mind physical activity. Like I like a good hike. I, I don't mind I don't mind some sports, but I don't I don't like 
yelling people throwing things at me. That's, that's too much like home. So I don't like sports like that. And I was like, yeah, I'll do the craft. She's like, great. And so she's holding it, and I'm doing it. Very trusting lady. And she's like, wow, you must work with your hands all the time. You do that really fast. And I'm like, yes, I do. So that's what that's what played into my Gosh, this is so relaxing. I gotta tell you, she takes out a lot of You're probably, if you have that fear of holes, you won't like this, but I don't really care. If you have that fear, please get medication. Get some therapy. I just signed up for better help and I didn't, um, I haven't checked my emails. I don't think it's for me. I think I need someone live. Or maybe I just need to keep doing this. I had set, and I'm going to be using all old seeds today because I haven't gone to the grocery store yet. I will look for more seeds there, and I'll just put them in where I can. But I'm going to go get my seeds out of the garage. I don't think I need to take you into there to see the treasure trove that it is. Okay, I, you know what, I like to have everything be just like on the, um... Hold on, I think my dogs have to be. My dogs are insane sometimes. So I have, I'll just show you what I have. I have these things called cannonball gourds. These I actually might plant into some planters on my, um, on my archway here and my archway in front of my house. Cause I think this kind of thing growing up is decorative. And it's not really, you don't want gourds near your, um, your vegetables and stuff because I think they can make them taste funny or something. I, I don't know, there's, you're supposed to grow them separate. Um, rosemary, I'm definitely growing that. Um, passion flower, I'm going to put in another part of the yard. Along with the gourd. This is what... I'm gonna use these. And I'm trying to think, like, I have a whole lot of planters, but I might have to go out and get some more seeds. Because it, what it's looking like to me is like Blue Doll. Let me see what this is. My eyes are really bad. By the way. It's a pumpkin. Just. pumpkin because it's almost square shaped. I could have sworn these were squash when I was a kid. I don't know if they're edible though. So we'll at least start the beds and we'll get um, seeds planted maybe a little later. I should go to the grocery store and see if they have any. That's what I, that I really want to make sure there's vegetables given the priority. So let's just get in on um, putting the soil into here and we'll, we'll go from there. So I'll put the soil in here before I go to the grocery store.
Maybe I'll use one of these little shovels. Can you see? So you can see it's going to be fairly deep and it'll be able to hold some vegetables. So let me go show you the, um, the other vegetables I'm growing right now and I'm going to wind up putting these boxes with these raised beds <clears throat> because they're getting direct sunlight here. And so these are all radishes. And these are beans, and we have a lot of them. And these are charred. These are my tomatoes. And I have one, oh, we have some something eating it too. Uh, we have one uh, squash growing up. I wish more were coming, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but definitely they need to be watered. I've waited a couple days. They put some lettuce seeds down. But I think I want to go to the grocery store. See if there's... Um, some seeds I can plant. I don't want to just plant pumpkin seeds. <laughs> so, if that's, what I, if that's what I wind up doing, that's what I wind up doing. I also have um, some seeds I'd like to try from... Uh, Oh, if you could only see, look at this, my rose bush. I, they almost threw it away at the other house. So that's what I'll do. I'll go to the grocery store. I'll see what kind of seeds I can dig up. I'll, I'll even look at Rite Aid and see if they have any there. I don't want to go to too many places, especially, you know, how it is right now. So, I'll talk to you in a little bit. You should have seen me struggle to make this stupid scarf. I had it as, like, a, all over before, but it just wasn't working out. Um, so, I'm not going to be doing too much of this bullshit in the store. So... Oops. I want to thank you for um, tolerating all of my um, videography issues. I am not a professional, as you know this before. This is my real life. Nothing could be more authentic. Um, so I, I went crazy at the grocery store. It turned out they had a lot of different seeds. Unfortunately, they didn't have any fruits. They didn't have... Um, any cantaloupe they didn't have any watermelon which i really wanted so i'm gonna be looking out for seeds i don't know where i'm going because i'm not going anywhere and anyway i had planted sunflower seeds the other day but those freaking birds got a hold of them and i'm paying like in season price for all of these bird seeds listen i paid a lot of money for these seeds okay and maybe i shouldn't have but what's done is done. I got...
I don't know, 20, 30 packs of seeds for about 80 bucks. And they range anywhere from, like, this. I didn't look at the price. This is, like, $4. It probably shouldn't be that expensive, but look. Online, any of the heirloom stuff is already gone. And I know this is, this says organic on it. Um, just don't judge me. <laughs> I'm, I'm planting a vegetable garden, actually, for, like, the first time. So I'm probably making mistakes, but I might be doing things in a different way that actually work. Because I've researched. Anyway, one of the things about doing a raised bed that makes it better for your um, overall soil is that instead of tilling and disturbing the soil or digging up or double digging and all that good stuff, instead of disturbing everything in that, you're just p piling dirt on top of it. And what that does is just creates a new crust on it and it all gets all nutrients in it. This is very sciencey stuff I'm explaining, but there's a lot of decay that happens when you, especially if you have like natural barriers, like um, newspaper or cardboard, they start to degrade and they're actually very good for the soil. So um, that's where I'm working from. I'm working with what I have and what is readily available. And what is readily available to me is burpee seeds at my local food line and that's what I'm doing I got some things that I don't necessarily like to eat but are good for you and could be used in like a juice or something like that and and actually I don't mind these when they're dehydrated so I'm thinking about getting a dehydrator uh, you put these in slices beet chips are actually kind of good um, lots of sunflower seeds because I want to see them and those stupid birds the other day when I planted them cracked every freaking shell I had that's what I get for feeding them um so what do we uh, what did I get so more sunflower seeds more sunflower seeds. okay I got some lettuce I got some squash they call this summer squash. We always called it zucchini when I was a kid, but I don't think it is. Um, carrots. Peas. Um, echinacea. You might not know this, but um, the reason why I'm growing the echinacea, beautiful, beautiful flowering flower. It also grows really good at the base of a walnut tree doesn't always happen in walnut trees and um it's good for colds and things like that so I'm going to grow some of this and it spreads very easily so I'm going to put some wild and I'm going to put some in a container as well and I hope I have enough containers to plant all this stuff I got carried away I got some basil I get some more tomato seeds I got some of these I don't know why um, basil, some weird looking tomatoes, parsley, I've got, I got the, um, spring onion, and some peas, chives, okay, that's, that's it, that's all I have, so I think I should be able to, and some of these, these, um, sunflower seeds are going into a crack. It's in the middle of my yard from where they dug up the pipe. So I just like to take advantage of things. So what we're going to do is fill the rest of these. Oh, shoot. I want to put something weighted on this. Oh, no. um, we're just going to see what we can do to plant all this stuff. I think this is why I have so many freaking seeds from before anyway. Top of there. That inside of there. Oh, and I got some jack o' lanterns. I needed those. We need to look forward to that stuff, guys. We still need those. Alright, all those sunflower seeds. 
So I'm going to go finish. I'm not, don't think you need to watch me fill the rest of the boxes. That's going to be boring. Make for a super boring video, I would think. Maybe you want to watch me fill up one more. But I think it's redundant. It's pretty heavy. Actually, let's take it to the place where I'm going to wind up putting it. Because this is starting to get moist on the bottom. And I don't want it, like, um, falling out. So what you'll have to remember is some of the things that I'm going to have are going to climb. And I might have to wind up moving one of these, which is fine. But, so I'm going to have, have it there. Go fill up others. So I took a long break. Um, after I was done, there was a uh, particular boxes and I decided, like, I have other other box shapes. I might as well use them um, and see you know see how many I wind up using total. Shoot. one of these things which I discovered like, is a cool kind of star shape so when I was thinking about making some kind of shadow box with the other long skinny things I have um, that'll be one of the holes so it'll be like stars and it's so nice today I'm glad I'm spending it doing something that's going to feed me <laughs> this one. I figured it couldn't hurt to have like these as like smaller pots. I think I'm going to put these at the base of my archway at the beginning of my um, walkway in the front for the gourds. And that way they can be able to get down into the ground. And I get this big box. about you know the kind of seeds I got and what time of year I'm planting them um, I'm in Virginia so I forget what zone it is but usually the first frost is by May 10th and if you've gotten that far you're pretty much okay putting out seeds and other things I think it's okay before then but if you have a frost overnight you might get some plant damage now, I've had thing, some things planted since um, February. I started my seeds then. They're more slow growing, but I think they harden off and are pretty indestructible after that. So we'll see how 
like while they didn't have like an initial jump, they've gr been growing slowly and steadily. So I think I think seeds know what to do. I think sometimes we overthink growing stuff. We make it so hard, or we make art projects hard. Everything. So let's fill these suckers up, and then we'll put them in the garden area. Okay, so I've put the gourd seeds in here and now we're just going to take these and put them over to the archway. Alright, my arch. So I put one over here where it's nice in the sun because the gate opens inward. And we have it over here so it'll go up this side and up this side. Everything needs to be watered. So let's go back and we will do, um, I'll show you where I've set up all the cardboard boxes with dirt. So I have them sitting next to my, um, older boxes. I'm putting this one in the middle. I think I'm going to do all the pumpkins in there. <laughs> and, um, we'll see what happens. I don't know how I'm going to plant everything. Alright, so we're going to plant the pumpkin seeds in here. And let me figure if I can get some kind of way to get, uh, so you can see the little hills I'm going to do. Okay, so, um, I'm just going to form little volcanoes. That's usually what you do in a garden, is you'll have like these big hills for the watermelons and the pumpkins, and um, I'm going to follow that thought. But I've also had pumpkins just come up when I've scattered them on the ground. Or have you ever just let a pumpkin like sit on your porch so long that it, somebody busts it and you wind up yeah, this is gonna be a lot of pumpkins. It's okay. Like we're going to overplant. I knew that was going to happen. I mean, I'm winging this, but I think they will come up at any rate, and pumpkin is good. These are supposed to be big ones, so, so I'm leaving, leaving this, the labels in there, the seed packages in there so you know what you were growing, and then I'm going to... Wow, that chard is really coming up. I mean... It leaped in a day. I gotta water all this stuff today. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make some decisions. I'm gonna have to move over some of these um uh, things that the vines grow up because that's where the cucumbers are gonna grow up in one. All right, so I'm gonna move to the other things, and you'll just I guess you'll just watch me. What you doing this? Have the two packages of peas grow up on this. Uh, make 
be too many. I don't know. I think I have, oh, they have the beans there. Okay. And then I'll put the, um, the cucumbers here too. Normally you'd make like straight little rows, but I'm not doing that. I'm, Sort of having a little haphazardness here. <laughs> my life anyway. We'll see what happens with my vegetables in the process. And then put that in there. And then some zucchini. Some zucchini. Probably too many. You're gonna lecture me about it. Can't do anything about it. I'm planting too many. Interesting to see how those take. I think I need more dirt. <laughs> uh. Ultimately, what I'm going to do is get two more boxes, or four more boxes that I have, poke holes in them, fill them with dirt you don't need to see a rewind of that so I'll meet you when I'm done planting everything I'll see you in a minute I did maybe you do want to watch me do this oh, it's starting to blaze in the sun now I started this project earlier today this is one of those projects where it seems like it'll take 15 minutes but you wind up wanting to do more it turns into an all-day thing so I would say if if you're watching this um Go ahead and plan a day or two around it, or three. Maybe you don't have all the supplies you need. Maybe there's other types of vegetables or something that you're wanting to mess with. So, I don't know. herbs that I have, I'm probably going to take them. What did I leave that in there for? Yummy. 
Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try and plant the herbs around my, my back door because it's close to my kitchen and I don't know. There's not a lot of room in these boxes after I get done putting all my stuff in them. Do I have any other wisdom? Um, yeah, if you don't feel like planting vegetables, how about planting some flowers? Or if you don't like flowers, how about planting some kind of plant? Because the more oxygen we have, the better. And that's what plants do with their flowers. Flowers are going to Obviously, bees, hummingbirds, all kinds of birds get a benefit to that. plant a mini tree. Get some old fruit. Take the seeds from those. See if they'll grow. Sometimes they do. I've had plenty of friend friends start those. There's a rumor out there, oh it's irradiated, it won't grow. Not always true. In fact, I'm going to do an experiment this week with some apple seeds and some pear seeds. Because I would love to have some apple and pear trees. for this to be over and I, I think I'm ready for some good food to eat. I might have spaghetti squash tonight and that'll mean that I can plant some more seeds out into these renegade gar cardboard box gardens. Right. So guys, I'm going to finish filling these things with dirt, put all the um, seeds I want in them and then we'll come back in water and just do a little review uh it's ending too soon i know okay so for some added content you'll get a bonus here because i ran out of dirt for these two boxes so i'm going to hydrate another cube and i'm just going to fill this up a bit with water Alright, now, we're just gonna open up one of these. This is by far the easiest way to get these hydrated. Obviously a wheelbarrow I guess would be better, because there's one in the picture. I always talk about that damn wheelbarrow. There. But any container that you can put this in to hydrate it. This makes shipment of soil cheaper. There we go. So we'll just let that soak it up. I'm just going to let it um, wet it on all sides. Sometimes wetting a little bit of a dry piece can actually help water to wick into something. I do that with watercolor. You can really see that it starts to get hydrated right away. Just do a little flip. Mm -hmm. It's 
so. Wow, it's expanding. Look. amazing it's an amazing thing it's just soil I don't know how they drain it all out I guess they wait for it they compress it some kind of some kind of voodoo they use on this soil but probably some good voodoo because let's hope it is so we can have good vegetables this year all right. I'm not that soak it's at that point where I think it needs to saturate more. More in here. Give a little mud bath to my mud. And then I'm gonna let that sit and come back. Alright, so it's the end of the day. I've finished all the box planners that I wanted to do. I'll show you where they are. I'm going to water everything later. That's not what I'm going to count. Capture on film. Hold on. So this is my herb box. I have this right near my back door. I wanted to have the herbs fresh there. And then, you have to understand, it's after 5 o'clock. I think close to around 5, it gets, this gets a lot of morning sun. So this is where all the vegetables are. This chard is, these are beans. They're coming up amazing. And the chard is coming up. Radishes are coming up. I planted a whole bunch of stuff here, like peas and um, onions and chives and some tomatoes. Here's all the pumpkins. This is lettuce and mescaline. There's lettuce over here as well. And there's, that's a butternut squash. I'm sorry that there's so little of them. I don't have a, um, one in the fridge that's going bad. I'll just take the seeds out of it and see how those work. And these are definitely needing to go in there. There's cucumbers as well as squash and zucchini and rat beets. And I think earlier, I don't want to go in front of my neighbors. I'm too scared. I think I already filmed it. There's little boxes there. So it's it. They don't need to know everything about me. Just you do. Anyway, so that's that's the garden that I've started. And it looks like uh, travel bands are, not travel ban, but the opening back of, of my state has happened. Let me turn it around and give some good news for a change. Hold on. So the, um, the opening back up of my state is, is going to start in phase one now. Um, starting next week, which is good. And I'll start to be able to get some of my other stuff from, uh, <laughs> I'm all of a sudden, like, I'm having panic attacks over it, too. So, like, then I'll get to do, get to get more inventory back in here for magical things. And I have no idea what shows, but I do know I want to go see my husband. So that's something I have to work on is getting that all that stuff so that that's a big announcement at the end of this anyway um so I, I was happy to see that on the news today because i thought it was going to go all the way to june 10th and that would have been awful um i'm so glad like i don't care whether we get to go swimming or not just like just enough so it's safe 
enough for me to go get my things and see my daughters. That's really all I care about. That and hopefully I'll be able to travel internationally by July. Who knows? So, <clears throat> there's a bird. You can see these in a lot of my videos. So that's me making cardboard box gardens and try it for yourself. See if you like any of these tips. Make comments. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down. Will you please subscribe and will you please share it so I can get out there and have more subscribers? Please. <laughs> um, and also hit notifications if you can. Oh, these birds are great. Anyway, I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to get something to drink and then um, I'm going to water all these plants. Oh, look. See that redhead right there? I don't think that's a cardinal. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what that bird was. But I have a lot of them here. So when I, when this next time that I plant my sunflower seeds in a little ditch, I'm going to cover all them up good because my little bird friends keep eating them. Alright, have a magical day.